Hey folks, this is your boy Icebergs Bricks here, and uh, we're on a morning edition uh, with the on the ice box with Iceberg Bricks. Uh, it's my pleasure today to bring you my guest, the one and only RRB Ninjago, aka RRB Official <laughs> 2017, and we'll get into that. Uh, but he comes from the uh, the Aussie land. Uh, go ahead and say hello, mate. Oh. <laughs> Hello, mate. <laughs> yeah, mate. Nah. Um, how you going? Uh, thanks to Iceberg for inviting me on to the uh, the show. I guess you can call it. I've enjoyed. I've watched it the last. Uh, how many times have you done it now? Two times, I think. I've watched the both of them. Yeah, about right. Right. Yeah. yeah, you're right. It's good stuff. So I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, uh, what time is it there? Uh, ten oh one p.m. I'm wondering if uh, if some other dudes from the AP stream are going to be watching. I don't know. Obi Wan said he might, so we'll see. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, we get those guys in here, man. Get those guys. Um, so, um, uh, let's get right into it, man. Um, so, you, you know, uh, um, tell us. Well, what I want to know is, tell us, tell us how did the name RRB uh, come about? What does it stand for, and um, and how how did it come about, and how it, how it evolved? Oh my um, my brother and I uh, we had a we had a few YouTube channels before 2012 when my original channel, which now is deleted, um, was uh, around. Um, we had a few channels in late 2011, early 2012 for Ninjago, and my dad kind of scared us off when he said, "There's weirdos on the internet, so you better delete your, your channels." Goodbye, <laughs> 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 because we were only. Oh. My dad was like, my brother was like eight, so I mean, just you know, being a parent, I guess. And then, then come late 2012, we just like, oh, you know, what? we're gonna have another, another crack at this. So we're just sitting there and, and uh, thinking of names. It's tough, you know. When I'm not very creative with names, um, mm -hmm. so we just you know, we 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 felt like if we had something widespread for like multiple audiences, it would it would fit. So it stands for Random Reviewer Bros. And yeah. When my brother, when my brother lost um, interest, I mean, you know, he doesn't dislike like he just doesn't use it anymore. He's fifteen, so you know, he's past that point. But um, when my brother lost interest, it just became my. Well, we did upload Mad and Mobile, but we mm -hmm. tried to kind of drop that beginning of last year. And then I decided, hey, I'm gonna, I'll just rename the channel RRB Ninjago. That fits, and we go from there. So, and that's when I started picking up subs and. Just went from there and then it got deleted so good stuff <laughs> <laughs> okay so you um you kind of touched on to the next question like uh, um uh, with your family and lego is that is that a good pastime with your family because i seen i seen that you had some siblings um yeah some younger siblings and uh, yeah. uh, uh yeah your favorite pastime so they like big you're, you're the big brother right yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, always. Yeah, so they like Big Brother. Yeah, you like you like uh like with me. I had an older brother, and he was into uh, Dungeons and Dragons and stuff like that. And so yeah. I was always in this room breaking his figurines and stuff. So, um, <laughs> tell us tell us about your your days with your younger siblings. And like, of course, you you came up with that's how you came up with the name RRB. Yeah, well, my my little sister's only you know, well, she it's turning eight soon, but um, she mm -hmm. yeah, she's a girl. I mean. She, I'm aware she's going to lose interest in like, even though she says she loves it now, she's going to lose interest by the age of, you know, 11 or 12. Um, mm -hmm. And then my brother he used to build all the time. And then, you know, when he got into his teens, that was like the end. I don't, I don't know what happens. I've never experienced it myself. Uh, I, know, I don't know what happens when you lose interest in like, you just, I don't know, maybe you just forget it's there, or, but it's everywhere. I mean, it's all over the house. So I don't know. I don't know what's, uh, what's <laughs> happened. I'm fortunate that it's his. Definitely, he 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 got a lot of logo too. I mean, um, right? He got a he got the first big set, and he was four, <laughs> so he got the first big set we okay. had in the house, which was um, which was set seven two three seven, the police station from two thousand and five. Um, oh, and he got yeah, that for yeah, his yeah, yeah. And I got the the, I know these set numbers because they mean these sets mean something to me. So seven two four nine, the extra large mobile crane. I got that for Christmas that year, two thousand and five. So, you know, okay. he was first to get a big set, and I, I don't, you know, it just it's just a shame he's lost interest. But I mean, that's what what normally happens, you know. Right. Oh yeah, 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 
Now, let me touch on that. What was your first, what was your first Lego set? And, and um, do you still uh, have it? Yeah, yeah, I, I, well, I've still got the first Lego set I had. I, 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 the only set I've sold are ones that I've bought myself recently, like in to buy other sets, but I would never sell the ones that I had as a very young kid. I've, I've kept all those. So I had, um, I, I don't, I don't know the set number for this one for some reason. Um, it was a, a red, the first set was a Duplass set, but I mean, I'm not going to count that. The first actual like proper Lego system set I had was a red creator truck. It's still built. It's in one of my crates over here, but it was a red creator truck and it was mm -hmm. like a, it was like a, a 20 in one. It was before, it wasn't called creator. It was called Lego designer. And, um, mm -hmm. It was like 20 and one and my dad and I used to, do, I remember building that all the time, you know, uh, downstairs in the, um, in the lounge room, we were always building it. I was always, uh, the big truck was the big build and I always thought I was a genius building that at the age of what, five or something, but you know, right. It, it evolved, I guess over time. That's what happened. But. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely evolved. Definitely. Um, yeah. so, um, you, uh, how old are you? 19 now yeah 19 19 19 so so it's fair to say that you've been lego in all your life uh yeah my okay. parents hate okay. it now but their fault they they bought me all the sets i had when i was a kid so <laughs> <laughs> oh it happens man that that happens that's uh it ain't, it ain't a bad thing at all man you could be yeah. you know as a young adult you could be in a, a whole lot worse um <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> um, so tell us about like your, your, your middle school and your high school thing. Of course there was always Lego. You always had Lego, but how did you manage? Uh, because you, you, you played sports. You said, uh, 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 uh and you actually played U S football in, in, in was yeah. it was uh, middle school, high school era. Yeah, I played, um, I played for, um, my local team, uh, uh for since 20, 13 to last year so yeah just it was it was it wasn't as bad as being a men's i stopped because i would have been a men's this year and i didn't no 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 it's not like in america where you've got so many players that are playing where you can all you can have one age for the t for the team mm -hmm. it's once you get to men's mm -hmm. it's whoever it's whoever and they can they're massive some of these guys are freaking huge <laughs> they're from New Zealand, or like Samoa or something, and they're massive. So I'm like, nah, I'm right. I'll, uh, I'll, I'm tiny. I'll steer clear of that. So, yeah. <laughs> um, well, I think I, I think I got away with. Like, I, I went to a good school. I was lucky. My, you know, my parents. I think I appreciate that, but I do because I went to a good school and, um, and I I, I had good friends and I, I got away with it because I was good at sport. I was good at rugby. I was good at touch footy, Oz tag, whatever. Uh -huh. Um, and that's what they knew me for. It wasn't Lego. I was I was known for my sport more than more than that. And my friends knew, but some of my you know you know you have like distant friends. Nah, they didn't know. It was just my close friends that all knew. So they didn't right. mind at all because they, they were all computer. They always played computer games. So I guess it's the same thing. It's just you know using a different method, building or whatever it is, playing Minecraft. The same thing. Okay. Real life. Okay. Okay. All right. Not bad at all, man. Not bad. Um, and so, you know, I could kind of imagine that, you know, like, you know, cause uh, you know, I, I love kids, you know, iceberg love the kids, but at, at the same time in middle school and high school, kids can be the worst, like, you know, especially yeah. if they knew that you, you still play with Legos and stuff like that. They, they, you know, like you said there, you, you have, you have your friends who really don't care what you do, you know, they back you, but then you have friends that on the outside that look in to judge yeah. you. And, and, uh, um, I mean, that could, that can be very crushing because, you know, um, everybody wants to be, uh, you know, part of the in crowd. Everybody wants to be that popular kid and, you know, it, coming up in, in, in middle school and high school, labels, you know, with kids that, you know, they, you know, they, nah. that, that's not, that's like a, not an unpopular thing. I mean, that's a un, very unpopular thing. It's not to be popular, you know? So, uh, uh I mean, how, how'd you deal with the, with the, I guess the peer pressures and, and maybe even, you know, just trying to, you know, still maintain Lego. I was, I was, I don't know. I was lucky. My school was only, only, uh, it was kindergarten D12, which is not many of in Australia, but it was kindergarten D12. Mm -hmm. And there was only like 600 kids in the whole school. So, let alone you go to a high school with just year seven to twelve, and there's like 
a thousand kids. So kindergarten mm -hmm. twelve is not six hundred kids. So going there, <laughs> people knew I played American football. So, so you know they they'd invite me to they they'd say, oh, do you want to come and you know do alcohol on the weekend? And I'd be like, uh, no thanks. Or using different words than that, but I'm not going to say on the screen. <laughs> no. And um, they go, oh yeah, okay, that's all good. I wasn't even a tough guy. They just thought because I play American football, I'm this big tough guy. No, I'm not. Right. Oh, you, you would fit right in here, man. You, you, you look like the, the kid off of the Wonder Bread ad, man. You know, you play fo American football. You, I mean, and, you know, you'd be every every teenager, yeah. girl's heart, heartthrob, you know. You know, so, I mean, life couldn't have been that bad, you know, down there. You know, I mean, you had your Legos at home. You didn't take it to school with you. So, I think you, you probably was no. okay. <laughs> I was pretty, yeah, private with my, like, I mean, my, as I said, my friends, my close friends knew that, you know, friends that you'd only talk to, like, once every day or once every two days or something, and I didn't know, so. Mm -hmm. But I did have an incident with my uh, my YouTube channel. That was funny. Um, instead of instead of being told I'm a weirdo for you playing with Lego, it was a mock. I did a mock for Lord of the Rings back in, like, 2014, and um, I go to school the next day. <laughs> My friends, uh -huh. my friends got up, got up the clip at lunch, but he was just, he was, he was, he actually helped me with my, with my channel. He did my intro and everything back okay. in 2014. And, um, okay. but he was just skipping through the video and all of a sudden he comes on this point. I don't know if you have the same phrase in America, but a testy pop. So when your voice yep. cracks, <laughs> I had it. Um. And, and, I go, and I go to school the next day and they're just playing it at lunch over and over again. I'm like, what, <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> That's my YouTube channel. Oh, that's the. Oh uh, yeah, you was the the joke of the, of the lunch period, boy. <laughs> the joke of the lunch period. Hey, did you see this? Hey, check this out. <laughs> oh, that was funny. But that was, it was funny because I had a thousand subs at that point, and they were more impressed if I had a thousand subs than what what it was right. I was doing. You know, so yeah. it's like definitely going to something. I mean, if it worked, don't you know? If it's working, don't don't try to fix it if it ain't broken. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. With that, um, how do you become, you know, down in Aussie land, how do you become an NFL uh, uh, San Francisco 49ers fan? <sighs> it was just, um, I think you noticed it. I might walk up there, 49ers only. Mm -hmm. that, that was actually born yeah. NFL.com. My girlfriend got that for me. So, um, but I just, I don't know. I was, you know, I was flicking through uh, Channel 11, which was playing NFL back then. Um, yeah. And I was, fl I was flicking through the TV, and all of a sudden, I've just stopped on Channel Eleven for some reason. And then I see this ball flying through the air. I just stopped. And I was like, "Okay, I'll, I'll watch this. I don't know what this is." And I was just watching it, and all of a sudden, I become hooked. And I'm just, oh. And then the next day, I was just going through YouTube and watching clips. And yeah, it was. Uh, that was just how. And I, I just said, "Oh, I'll just pick a team. I'll just pick a, a random team." But my favorite player is Joe Montana. So okay, that's, okay, um, okay. Whenever I get a jersey for like Oztag or whatever, my, my jersey says number sixteen Gem or Montana. That's 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 okay. what I want. Okay, um, okay. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. Joe Montana. He was probably about done by the time you realized what you were looking yeah, at. He was. He's probably he's my favorite. He's my favorite. <laughs> I love watching his highlights. I love his um yeah. eleven touchdowns and zero interceptions in four Super Bowls. It's crazy. I mean, that's absolutely crazy. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> You know, he, yeah, yeah, I don't know. He, I think that was why we became a 49ers fan because I saw his highlights. I was like, damn, this dude's cool. So I was just yeah. like, yeah, I'll, I'll follow this team. And that's cool. <laughs> that was back in uh, right. 2011, I think. So, uh, okay, 2011. Yeah, yeah, it's been a while. Okay, okay. So, uh, <laughs> tell me, tell me, um, tell me what's uh, what what sparks your interest in the Nijago? Don't never mind those guys. They're having a good time in the chat, especially no more. I'm I'm gonna get him later. <laughs> he in it, infected my chat with the uh, the mega constructs. So you know, just yeah, <laughs> never mind him. I think he just dropped uh, when he was a baby. Um, <laughs> I love no more though. He, that's my dude. He's a cool dude. Cool dude. <laughs> We're, we're, tell us what uh, sparked your interest in the uh, Ninjago. Why, how did you start to gravitate towards Ninjago? I think I think Ninjago saved me from my dark ages. I reckon that's I looking back on it. I think that saved me from my dark ages because my favorite thing when I was 
growing up. And it was the same for most teens my age. Vinyl course, my favorite thing by Miles. My brother and I dedicated every year buying every set or getting parents or birthday or whatever. And um, and come 2010, they canceled it in the middle of the year. Uh-huh. And that's, you know, nine years and it's all of a sudden been canceled out of nowhere. And then for six months, I was like on, you know, I, I don't know what I'm going to collect now. What's, what's there to collect now? I did have obviously other things, but Vinyl was the one I was dedicated to for that. You know, most of my, most of my, you know, before I was a teen, and then Ninjago came out 2011, and I first saw the spinners in 20 late 2010. I was like, oh, these things, these, these things are cool. So I've gone, and um, I got one of the spinners, and all of a sudden I'm hooked. The same thing as the NFL, I'm just hooked, and I just started buying one in every set, and and then when I got a job now, now in every set, so that's cool. But um, yeah, I, I think Ninjago saved me from my dark ages. I would be in the dark ages if it weren't for Ninjago. Let's just let's just say that because I wouldn't have had something to collect if it didn't come out. Right, right. You never know. Yeah. Okay. So Ninjago saved your life. That's all right. <laughs> yes. So um, with that um, you you hit the Ninjago and you hit it hard, and we'll 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 look at the PowerPoint here in a little bit. Um, but uh, let me ask this: um, you had a feud. Well, I wouldn't say a feud, but yeah, I guess so. Um, a feud with you know uh, Lego. Instagram and YouTube where they they erased your your accounts and you had to start fresh um, Tell us what kind of sparked that and what did you do to kind of spark that attention? Uh, you did something I, and I keep praising you for it because that is that was some fine engineering that you did um, Tell us what you did and uh, and, and the backlash that you you um, you you suffer from it. <laughs> I um I, I uploaded so I had some reaction videos, and reaction videos are allowed by fair use. But I was reacting to Ninjago episodes, the new ones that were out this year, and that was really the thing that you know started lifting my channel. I was getting like I had one of them had three hundred thousand views just on a reaction to an episode. So mm-hmm. at this beginning, they they sent me like I think every video like that you get sent you know something that says this video is not monetized. I didn't monetize it anyway because I knew you weren't able to because. Part of it wasn't my work, and so that was all good. Then come, what was it? I think it was June or Ju- June. I think it was. And all of a sudden, I've been hit with a strike, and I'm like, "Well, that's stupid." I mean, I was told that it's okay; it's just not monetized. And and all of a sudden, a week later, I'm hit with five more in one, just in one hit. But the the, the angry, the thing that made me angry was those videos I had deleted because. When I got that first try, I deleted all those videos that had that warning on it, and mm-hmm. I deleted everything. And they've come back a week later, and I've been hit with five, five in one, like five strikes in one go. And I'm like, you gotta be joking! So I had to go through and I downloaded all my old videos that I wanted to keep as a memory because that was that was a big part of my teenage years. That that channel that was through all my teenage years. I had that, and it's all of a sudden been taken because you know Lego went on a spree of of hunting down channels and taking them down. They probably took down around 100 to 150 Ninjago channels alone in that time period. That's mm-hmm. that's the spree that went on. So it is what it is, but uh, that was a bit, yeah, frustrating, that's for sure. No more wants to know what kind of music you listen to. <laughs> he's, trying, he's trying to get me to slip up and say, I don't know. Um, I just uh, probably... I like some of the 2000s, 90s and 2000s music. That's the stuff I like. I don't like anything from 2010. They're terrible, terrible music. <laughs> uh, that's my type of dude. 90s, 90s hip hop all the way. <laughs> oh, this, 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 this decade so far, the music, most of it is shocking. I, I can't listen to it. It's terrible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, cool Kid likes 90s music too. The cool Kid. He, 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 yeah. On the, uh, the cool, oh, kid, yeah. cool Kid. So, um, did uh did you receive any warnings about your uh you know your pre pre release of the Ninjago City before Ninjago City came out like you you developed you, uh, you took you know you took a bit and and you developed your own customized uh, Ninjago City which is right spot on to the one that came out. <laughs> Thank you. It's still up there. It's on it's on my bookshelf, but it's gonna be probably replaced when I get the new one. But we'll see. I'll put I'll do a photo side by side and everything, but. 
Mm-hmm. Um, no, I didn't get any warning. It was just like, it's just a mock memory. I mean, I did the same thing for the Temple of Ejitsu. I did that. Okay. That's why I did that. Because I thought, oh, I did it for the Temple of Ejitsu. But this one was way better. The Temple of Ejitsu, I didn't have as many parts. This one, I just... No brick with water was just part of my collection. I was like, oh, this is, this is cool. So I was able to finish... Uh, 99%. I had to buy one set just to get one piece because I couldn't bother buying a brick link order just to get this one piece. So it was only 10 bucks. So I was like, okay, I'll buy that and I needed that one piece from it. So, yeah, it was all okay. Had fun okay. with that. So, build. Uh, it, you said what? I had fun with that build. It's a shame that I haven't <laughs> done anything really since, but I haven't had a, a lot of time to. So, Okay. Yeah. yeah, you know, uh, you've been hitting a couple shows, right, um, as well. Yeah, I've taken that to one show. I don't know if I'll take it to another one because someone will have the set by that point, I'm sure, because the next show I'm going to is only like a month, and I'm sure someone from my lug has ordered it off Lego Shop at home and will take it. So mm-hmm. that'll be the Star Attack attraction. But at the last show I went to, because it was in July, that was like, that was the – Everyone was coming past. Like, well, what's that? And then some people knew what it was. They sent the photos, but others didn't. So they're like, "Well, what's that? That's cool." So they think it's that's a set that's already out. But someone asked me, "Oh, is, can you purchase?" I know I built this myself, but it's come. The actual set's coming out in a couple of months, so you can get it then. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um. So uh, before we hit your your PowerPoint, um, and this is to the uh, to the people in the chat. Um, so today's trivia question is a two part. It's always t- two part. So the first yeah. part is in last, in last week's episode where we had the agents of Mark as our featured guest. Uh, yeah. what was the character that, uh, that Troy, who was agent Playwell, doesn't like? What was, was the name of the character that he doesn't like? And the second question is, um, uh, what was the Lego set that brought Troy back from his dark age? Um, <laughs> what was the Lego oh, set? Yeah, see, that's good. So, so you guys, I'm, I'm gonna put the PowerPoint on. You go ahead and split your screens. Give me, give me your answers at the end of the end. The, oh, okay. So, no more. Went ahead and put it in. Give me your answers at the end of the show. Um, so, uh, and of course, no more. Went ahead and gave you the first one. So, uh, no more. You're responsible for half of that prize, sir. So, uh, um, <laughs> um Wait, is this so give me your answers answer? at the, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a trivia. Uh-huh. No, this is, this is from last week. So, so, uh, oh man, these guys threw, threw both of them in. Okay. Well, all right. So, so you know, all right, all right. Well, uh, they done messed it up for everybody. Look at this. Look at these guys. <laughs> See, ain't that, you know, ain't that something they dig with my boys, man. See how my boys treat me, man. So, um, uh, <laughs> All right, so I tell you what, the first one, the first person, to, uh, they gave you the answers. So the first person to uh, uh, Instagram me on a DM, DM, Instagram me with those answers, you win the prize. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool, CK being no more. It's cool. I ain't worried about it. It's just, it's just, a, just a giveaway. It's, it's going to be given away anyway. All right, so let me go ahead here. Let me hold on. Um, I'm gonna go ahead here, and, and we're gonna, we're gonna start the PowerPoint. Let me share my screen. Present me. All right. Hold on a second here. Uh, They're your biggest fan, Iceberg. <laughs> yeah, they are. They are. Those guys are great, though, man. I can't. I can't ask for a better group of friends, man. I can't. Yeah. Those guys, they. You know, they, it's joke, it's joke city every day is joke city with those guys. So you, you know, everything, you know, so you, you couldn't ask for a, a better group of friends than those guys. So you all live, <laughs> you all live in the same area. Yeah, we all live in the, um, we all live in the, uh, the DC area. So a couple of those guys live in Northern Virginia, me, uh, me and, um, I think it's MD live in, uh, um, and I think no more uh, live in, in, in the Maryland area. I, I'm probably about the, the northest person. Uh, and, you know, I live up, I live closer to Baltimore. So um, all, all yeah. that, all of America. And there's these five, what, what, six or five, six guys on YouTube that all live in the same area and the same community. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. It's very fortunate, man. Very fortunate. So I try yeah. every, every week, you know, that's why you see us every week, you know, getting together. You know, I missed a couple of weeks because a lot of stuff is going on, but 
Um, I'm definitely can't can't wait to get back to those guys, man. They they're a great group of guys. They they make me laugh all the time, man. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. Wow. Well. Oh. All right, so I, I I put a slideshow together for you. I hope you like the graphics. Uh, <laughs> so, that's all good. right, so they can't they, they can't see you. They can't see me. All they see is the screen that we're seeing right now. Um, and uh, uh, so uh, here we go. Tell us about this build right here. So I'm assuming the, the next six you've got in a line are the ones I had, or well, maybe not, but this one was, so when the, the Ninjago movie trailer came out back in February, I think it was, I decided to build all the ninjas vehicles based on the little screen time they had in the, um, in the, the trailer. Um, that mm -hmm. was the first one I made. Mm -hmm. So I was, uh, I was really, uh, pleased with that one. That, that, that turned out a lot better than I thought it would, especially the treads. They actually moved properly, so I was really happy with that. But yeah, that was okay. that was probably yeah, that was the first one I did. I had a great time building that for sure. Okay. All right. Um, and these are all custom. Uh, they they and they look so much better than what they put out there in the in the public. You know, uh, tell us about the fire back here. Yeah, I wish I got better pictures. I mean, I just. just took a picture of wherever I could but I um I that was that was probably the best looking one I think I I was really happy with that the legs were I botched them they were not very sturdy at all but that was probably the best looking one I did out of the, the six that was that was a fun build very definitely definitely had a, a great time building that okay okay um what uh, I, so I, I take it that you you actually have um you actually have uh experience into you know um building mechs in in uh, of, of Lego. Um, what is your I mean, how many years of experience and how 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 do you uh, how do you how were you able to develop uh this mech here? Oh, just Ninjago, bloody hell! There's been mechs at least once every year since 2011. It's just. And, and then Bionicle I had as a kid, so that's you know a lot of years building those kind of builds where it's a it's a it's a static, two legged, two arms, whatever, a normal human form, but into a Lego um, build. And Ninjago over the years, there's that that was a, that's a big complaint for some of, uh, especially the Brick Show, that they don't didn't like that there were so many mechs every year for Ninjago. So mm -hmm. um, that's yeah, I guess that's where I get the experience from building mechs for sure. Okay. Okay. Well done. Well done. Um, all right. So tell us about this next one. So those were the first, obviously the three that I built from the trailer that the middle one was the one that I think impressed most people on Instagram because it, it appeared to stand up, but it had, it had a training wheel at the back. Of mm -hmm. course, there's no way, no way it would stand, right. um, stand freely, but, uh, it's, you know, Cole's unicycle make, and they haven't, the set's coming out, but it's not coming out till December, I think. So, yeah, I had a bit you of already time. had it. <laughs> you had already a bit had of it. Yeah, it was, that one had, I think that was the most viewed video I did on YouTube. I had like 10,000 or something, so that wasn't bad at all. Okay. Well, okay. That, that was before the channel got deleted, obviously. So, yeah. Okay. So, you actually have a good eye in capturing exactly, you know, the, you know, the precision, the uh, uh, detail of each each of these. Uh, and I, you know, I, I went back and, you know, look at what what they put in the store versus what you have, and you actually, you know, this this is exactly what I think it, you know, it should look like versus, you know, I guess you when, when you when you put a product out into production, you kind of got to dumb it down. Um, yeah. And yours is yours is great more in detail. Um, but no, are, the, 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 the fire mech was also inspired, you know, Exoforce from the mid 2000s. It was a, one of Lego's themes I did in the mid 2000s and it was pretty much all mechs. And I, a few actually, a few, the see the sticky elements on the shoulder armor. Those are from Exo, one of the Exoforce mechs. So right. that was kind of also inspired by that, I guess too. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. So, um, Take us into uh, your, uh, you know, from the beginning of this this here uh, mech that you made here, um, and I, you know, I actually like this one a lot. And um, it's a shame I gotta wait till December for it to come out. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tell, tell us uh, some of the phases that you you had to, uh, you know, develop in this mech here. 
the first thing was that wheel. I the wheel they use in the set, um, I believe, is the same one that was used in the bat pod and the, the UCS tumbler. So that will again bring that wheel. That that wheel is expensive as hell because it's only in those two big, two expensive sets. So once this set comes out, I'm sure it'll bring down the price of that. But with this, I had to figure out how the hell am I going to make this wheel big enough to look like it's able to hold up this big mech. So I decided to go with treads around around another uh, Technic wheel, the biggest one I had at the time, and I just wrapped them around the wheel and connected them with the rods, which actually made it stand up. But when I when I put Technic beams at the back to make it more sturdy, it couldn't stand up freely because it was too much too back heavy. So I had to add a training wheel. Yeah. Okay. Look. Yeah. The extra, yeah. Yeah. Well done, man. Well. Well. Well done. Uh, this is uh, this thing, and especially the arms. The arms look fierce. Um, uh, yeah, I had I, fun with that. I just put some the power miners wheels together, and it made it look bulky. So I was like, "That's cool. I'll go with that." All right. Uh, so these next two, um, uh, either or, you can talk to the one on the left, or and go to the one on the right, or vice versa. Um, just you know, um, explain which one you um you you you're touching on. Uh, so I'll I'll go start with the um the right, which is the dragon. That I'm not at all. And that was just a quick throw together for Nia because Nia Nia's Nia never had a dragon yeah, in a set. Oh, well, she did this year, but it wasn't hers by herself. Mm -hmm. uh, it was Kai and hers. But I, you know, I just went through and just chucked a bunch of blue and red together, and that was what I came up with. But the one on the left was um was. Nia's water stride, which I think you've you've got, haven't you? I suppose the it's the I think it's thirty dollars for you, but it should be forty. But it's thirty dollars. Um, it's the, the four legged um, her water strider. That was that, but mine was oh, way bigger. I, I thought it would um I thought it would be that size in the set. I'm glad it wasn't because it would have been expensive as hell. But yeah, that mine was just. My bills were enormous for the HR movie than my mock, so um, I had fun though. I, I definitely had fun, but Lego were never going to make them that size because the wave would have cost way more, and it's already expensive as hell as, as it is. So, yeah, yeah, very true, very true. Man, Lego, you keep this up. Lego will come after you, man. They <laughs> <laughs> go get you. They go get you, man. You go put them out of business, man. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know. It's their product, so we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, um, to break up the uh, the uh, Ninjago for a little bit, uh, well, I guess, I guess, yeah, I guess so. Um, a little bit, not much. What the the picture that you have on the right here? Um, what exactly? Mm -hmm. this, I was trying to find, I was trying to find more of it, uh, but uh, I couldn't find anything. What's what's that build that you have on the right? Um, that was Portal 2, the video game. That was the Dimensions pack. So I had the figure, and I had two of them. So I thought, okay, I'll use, I'll use one of them in a mock. And I built the, the thing at the far back was the first thing I built, which is, I think its name is Glados, which is like a, it's like a talking computer that moves. Um, mm -hmm. So that was a fun build. People like that on Instagram. And then the one that's on the wall on the left, that's uh, Wheatley, and that's her like. You know, help it's it helping you get through the the levels, which you've just got to shoot the portal and then open another portal. Then you got to walk through that, and it takes you to a, a another section of the map. But um, so that that was fun. That was something different. I I never um mm -hmm. I had like never that. done that before. So um, yeah, it was it was just something different. I I never had gone through and really done something other than, than Ninjago for a while. So I thought, yeah, I'll give that a go. But that was last year, I think. I think it was December last year I did that. So, but the one on the left, those are just those are just sets. So one of them's the Spinjitsu Dojo 2504 from 2011, and the other one's okay. the the Nexo Knights um, Gestro's Evil Mobile. I don't know the set number for that because it's not Ninjago. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, right. Yeah. So what? Uh, what? Uh, is that? Is that one set? The one on the left? Is that one set, or is that something that you you added on to? Because it looks like uh, maybe like those uh, those twenty dollars sets, and it looks like you added added more to it. 
No, the um the dojo was was uh, the, the the one in the far left is the Spinjitzu dojo, which was from twenty eleven. That was a oh, that was an eighty dollar set here, <laughs> eighty dollars, yeah. Um, and the Evil Mobile was also eighty dollars, but it's a bigger build for sure. Yeah, gotcha, so gotcha, gotcha. I think that I think that one you could probably get on clearance in the US at the moment. I'm sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, some of the shows that you went to. Is this your display here? Yeah. Um, so the one on the left is, I think that was, I think that was around 95% of my Ninjago collection at the time. Wow. So now it's a lot bigger. It's a, it's a lot bigger because that was last year. So you also got this year sets to add onto it. But um, okay. uh, the one on the left is with my Ninjago City. That was the one I went to in Ninjago City and, just took a lot along a few other Ninjago sets and and um, mm -hmm. cars, cars three was out, so I put some cars from the movie and thought, okay, kids kids will like looking at that, so and they did. <laughs> there were kids trying to touch yeah. those cars. There were kids trying to touch those cars all day, all day long. Um, oh, I I know the feeling, man. They was trying to attack my one hundred Spideys on on my tower, man, and uh, it, it was it was not fun. I, I was I, I was it was ha I was happy to be there. But I wasn't enjoying yeah. myself. You know, I had to play security or a bouncer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I feel, yeah. So I, I, feel I know the feeling. I feel uh -huh. bad. So, the, right. the, I feel bad to say things to the kids, but I mean, you got to do it. I mean, they'll end up taking something. So. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. To them, it's, it's a toy. So, and that's what it is in the end. It's a toy, but not to us, because uh, you yeah. put your time and your effort into it. So it's just it's, yeah, it's one exactly. of those things. Yeah. Money. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> it's money. Yeah, money. Um, <laughs> so you um you you're at this show and you have your display here. What what are what are some people you know like you say the people that knew what what it was they automatically took the pictures. Um, what was some tell us some of the experience that you with one on one with people coming up wanting to know what exactly that you well, had that was, on your table. Apart from the cars, which the kids saw, but a lot of the adults mm -hmm. who were just there for their kids, they saw that build because it was big, and they're like, they're looking at it like it's one big structure, as mm -hmm. like, uh, on a thirty-two by thirty-two, and they're thinking, and one of them asked me, is, is is this a set or is this like, is this your own creation? Or I said, yeah, it's my own creation, but it's based on a set that's coming out in a couple of months at that time, um, and uh, yeah, it was. Well, positive feedback, especially people in my lug. They were they were looking forward to seeing it because I hyped it up on on the um the Facebook page. So um, okay, they all got okay. to see it. They all liked it. They thought it was like a, a pre pre um look at that set when it when it before it comes out. So I was happy when right. people like it. yeah, definitely. Okay, all right. So you you have uh, uh, two pictures here. Um, on the left, you have uh, a couple of uh, uh, ships that you uh, completed, and uh, on the right, tell us about what what you have on the right. So the one on the right was you showed a few pics earlier. The Jestro's Evil Mobile, the set I was telling you about, that's you can still get. Um, but when I saw the show, I saw some of the next night show, and. Um, the set looked nothing like what was in the show. Like with Ninjago, most of the things you get uh, look exactly like the show, but for some reason this didn't at all. So I was like, mm -hmm. okay, I'll, I'll, I want to modify this and build it a lot closer to the show. So I, I barely used any of the pieces from a set in, in that mock. Barely any of them because it was just mostly the sticket elements I used. That was it. And um, okay. and that was, that was a fun build. I, again, different to Ninjago. I usually build Ninjago, but... I had, I enjoyed building that for sure, yeah. Um, okay. But with that, I had to, I had to beef up the four tracks, which I didn't end up eventuating. So it's a shame, but it is what it is. As I said, yeah. Okay. Okay. So and then on the on the uh, left here, you got a uh, you got a uh, look like you got the battle of the boats going on. Tell us about those boats that you have. Uh, the boats. So um, I think what. Three of them in Java. That was before Destiny's Bounty came out. That was a show I did back in June, I think it was, or maybe May. I think it was May. And uh, Silent Mary just came out, so that's when everyone was looking at that. But okay. I didn't have a, t a lot of time to. I didn't have a lot of time to prepare for that. But yeah, people were just looking at the Silent Mary because no one in my lug had it at, at that time. So that was cool. I mean, yeah. they all looked at it, and some of them said they were going to buy it. Some of them said they weren't. 
So mix okay. mix the pick. That's always the way with sets, I guess. Always the way. Oh yeah, yeah. And in you you're an artist and so um you know, you, you know, you, you take the, the you take everything with a grain of salt. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. So you have uh what looks to be your uh your your Met collection here uh from the Ninjago movie and it, it looks very awesome. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, so we, we touched on those. We touched on the picture on the left as well, too. Yeah, that was just a more, right. um, that picture was just a more, like, uh, okay. what's the word? A better, a better, a better photo, you know, a more, a better, a better photo. quality. Yeah, better quality right. photo. All right, let's, um, uh, um, so this is, uh, is this uh, some of your, um, your, your collection, what you have now is the updated collection that you have now? That was the um, Ninjago movie wave, but what was funny is I, I made a, I said to my sister, I said, oh, what's the bet if I post this and put my Ninjago City mock in it, someone's going to comment mm -hmm. and say, how do you, because that was before Ninjago City came up, I, I told her, someone's going to comment and say, how do you already have it? What do you know? I wake up the next morning because I post it at night and there's like five mm -hmm. comments saying, how do you have Ninjago City before it came out? So I was like, what? Yeah, probably, yeah people would piss at you. <laughs> Like, how do I have it? Like, um, I don't. It's a mock heaven, you know. I've, I've posted right. tons of photos of it. I'm sure you've seen. It. It's my most liked photo on Instagram too. So, um, right. Yeah. It's a good way. It blends right in, man. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it, it's good press and it, it, it blended right in. So yeah. this is the inside. This is the inside of your your Lego office here, right? Yeah. So I I have all the Destiny's bounty. So there's four of them so far on display on that shelf. And then mm -hmm. Queen Anne's and my Silent Mary were over there. Um, but my, I don't mm -hmm. know if you have a photo. I forgot to send you one, but my, my Ninjago minifig collection, that's, to me, that's probably my, um, my proudest possession. Okay. I love the sets, but I love having every Ninjago minifig. It's, I don't know, it's just something that's, it was always something I wanted when I first started Ninjago, but it only became coming true when, I had a job and I was able to go back and buy some of the sets I missed. So, mm -hmm. but you can see part of it over there on the, um, the shelf before the Queen Anne's Revenge on the far, far left. That's part of the collection, but. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, I have limited space, so I'm not able to display many sets. That's for sure. Not, not many at all. Okay. So, um, I'm, um, I'm, I'm play pretend for a minute here. Um, I'm RRB's, you know, dad, and uh, you know, I uh, come home and see that my <laughs> house is infested with uh, with Lego Lego. Yeah. Does uh, does my son RRB has uh, uh, you know his bedroom full of Lego, or does he own about a couple rooms that are that saturated with Lego? Yeah. Which one? Sorry, what did you say? I didn't, I didn't hear most of it because it got cut oh. out. I heard the end start but it got oh. cut out in the middle <laughs> oh oh sorry um so if um if i when i come home when i come home i'm rb's dad when i come home it, does my son have his just his bedroom uh saturated with uh with uh with lego uh, or is, is it is it is it every room or like you have three or four rooms saturated with lego i think i had to compromise obviously compromise it is their house so i've got to you know I've got to um, state of those rules. I mean, it's hard for me not to have things. On. They, they, they would rather have nothing on display. Like that, it's hard for me to when I have so much. You know, I don't, with limited storage. If I don't have anything on display, most of the sets I have on display are big sets. So you're gonna end up with no storage room because you put all these big sets in storage for no reason, and my bookshelf is empty. So, um, but yeah, it's. Mostly my room and the garage has probably, it, it's got a lot of Lego in the garage. My dad had to buy multiple cupboards just to put Lego in the garage because that's where, <laughs> he'd, rather, that's where he'd rather have it in the house. He'd rather have it in the garage, but um, I mean, or, or me buy storage, but you know, I don't know how much long I'm going to be here. So it's a bit risky for me to go to storage and then you have to take everything out and then move it somewhere else. And right. Yeah. Or, or your stuff might get stolen. Here's a, a just a sample of your minifig collection for just Ninjago alone. 
do you mm. sell any of this or this is this is your personal collection this is it they, they belong to you yeah so my that was i think that was the end of last year so obviously there's a lot of many things from this year especially from the ninjaga movie um wave mm. so it's a lot more crowded now. I don't have any room. I don't have any more room on that shelf to put minifigs anymore. So I don't know what, what I'm going to do next year. But um, there's a lot of sets coming out next year as well. So I, I don't know oh, yeah. what I'm doing. Yeah. But, um, oh, I definitely got the bug. Man, looking at you, I got the bug. I'm kind of leaning to Ninjago. So I'm trying. I mean, <laughs> it's terrible, man. Yeah, I have. Um, I think so far I, I had to. I had to compromise with myself. Um, on my minifig collection because you know I'm getting to a point where because I buy I had every set you have multiples mm -hmm. of ninjas like mm -hmm. the same ninja in the mm -hmm. same outfit yeah. and um, I, I had to say okay I've got to I've got to part out all the duplicates except for say if the variant had a, a different a hair or a, a, a mask I would keep one of each but if there was the exact same I just parted out so I ended up parting out probably like 50 or 60 ninjas because that's mm -hmm. how many duplicates came in sets over six years. Wow. It's just crazy. Yeah. I mean, they just saturate, saturate sets with, um, with the same ninja. So yeah. Yeah. And they, they've done the same So I, I think I got tons of Jay, just tons. He's like in every set. So, uh, yeah, yeah it's just, it's just oversaturating. Um, all right, yeah. so we're going to, we're going to get right into your, your, your starship build here. Um, <laughs> And, you know, this is, you know, this is the, the build that made waves. This is the, this is, this is it, man. I think, you know, I think this is one of your, I mean, you made some prizes, but I think this is your top prize. Um, <laughs> yeah. mocking, you know, mocking, being one of the first to mock the, uh, the uh, city. So take us from the beginning. This is the beginning shock that I had here. Take us, take us from the beginning here. At the beginning, I was looking at it thinking, there's no way I'm going to be able to do this. No way in hell, I'm going to be able to do this build. It's, it was mm -hmm. just so, cause, because of my OCD, I had to get things as close as possible. And mm -hmm. when I couldn't, it was like, I'm not going to be able to do this. But I ended up just pushing through. I'm sure you've got all the photos, but I ended up just pushing through. And I did a few streams, but then my channel got taken down, so I had to do it myself. Mm -hmm. I just went, did it myself, which it ended up being faster. But it took me two weeks. So... Okay. Not that bad, but it was the longest ever time I've spent on one build by, by a mile. I've never spent that much time on one build, ever. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure, you know, you, you spent way longer on your, like, brick bank or police station, but for me, it was just like, that's the longest I've ever spent on one build, for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I spent time. Yeah, I spent a lot of time. I spent a lot of time. Um, yeah. All right, so... Uh, so you're digging into this thing and you, you're having doubt, doubts already about, you know, yeah. trying to complete this thing. And, 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 and mind you, you are under, you know, inadvertently, you are under a, a, a time, a timeline because the Ninjago city is coming. And so yeah. you're trying to finish this thing before it, it comes out. Yeah. Um, and so, uh, um, you know, um, what other measures did you take? Did you put this on? A, it looks like you, you, did you develop a CAD system for it? Um, no, I, with the elevator, I think mm -hmm. you call it, you call it an elevator in the U S we call it a lift. Yeah. Yep. So, we call it lift or elevator here too. Yeah. We, yeah. So with, we're confused over lift, here. We don't know what it's going to be. <laughs> with the lift, I, um, I decided I couldn't do it the same way I did that in the set because you built the set. It had, it had a one by four with like, I guess, spikes where you could, fit a technic, um, like, uh, technic gear sliding down and up. But I couldn't do it because I didn't have enough of those pieces. So I decided, all right, I'm just going to add this. I think it's like a 1 by 16, 1 by 16 um, old. I think it's like a 9. It's not a 9-volt track, but it was used in that time period. Um, mm -hmm. So I decided to use that and not make the elevator work just for show. So... I, I think I used, so it was 16 by times four. So it was four up, four 16 by up. That was how tall it was in, in the end. Okay. Um, so what's that? So it's 64 studs high plus the roof. So pretty big build. And I think, well, how much, it, it probably is close to the, to the real build. That was what I was aiming for at least. 
Um, but it's bloody massive. It's it's a big deal. I can't wait to get it. I'm just waiting for it to come out in stores here, but it hasn't yet, unfortunately. Okay, okay. Um, so now you you you're starting. We're looking at this thing, and you're starting to really um, you, it's starting to really develop. You're getting the pieces that you need, and, and it's coming it's coming to like to more of a reality. Um, what yeah. are you thinking at this point here? Oh, it's finally moving somewhere. Um, I had a fun time putting this. The uh, I, I'm I'm sliding my mouse over like you can see it. The um the train. I think it's the same piece in the set, just in brown, but I used it in light bluish gray. Um, so it was a cool touch. I, I had one of them. I had two of them from one of the old train sets from 2006. But um, but yeah, I was starting to go somewhere. I was like, I was thinking, okay, maybe I can do this. So it started to move. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it started to be fun. Definitely. Okay. All right, so there's some of the steps inside here. Now, what what made you go with the uh, the blue towel versus you know in the in the um, in the uh, in the city they had the the water pieces there, the, the clear pieces. Hmm. I just didn't have any. In, I didn't have enough. Nowhere near enough. So I was like, I'll compromise. I'll just I'll just use blue tile and use different shades to make it look like different shades of water, deeper and shallower. And yeah. And it's on too. It's on. It, it look. It it really brings the uh, the whole project out. Um. So these are pieces. Are these pieces you're ordering, or this is what you have? Just just what I had. I I, I don't. You know. It was just sets that I probably parted out from when I was younger, and they ended up in okay. a big crate. But now they're all sorted, so it made it a lot faster of a build too. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You didn't have to wait on parts coming in and everything. Um, yeah, this is uh, quite a selection you have, man. Um, you know, right down to every every detail of what you know of the um, of the you know of the uh, the one that they produced. Um, all these pieces, man, they're they're, they're very very rare, man. <laughs> so you know, it's it's just astounding yeah. that you, you're 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 right on with the and you're you're just working with pieces from from the house, man. Yeah, well, that was that was what I was aiming for. I didn't want to put any Brooklyn coolers in because I didn't have time. So I was going to display it at a show in two weeks and um, I was like, okay, I'm a bit strapped for time here and I don't know, just building with what I had at the time. Mm -hmm. Definitely awesome. So, all right, so you, you knock out the, the, the first the first tier, right? You knock out the first tier. Let's see, we can, let's go this way, man, hold on. <laughs> All right, so you knock out the first hit, and then you go into the second. What What are you thinking about in the second? Uh, um, tell us how How did you? I mean, what's the part that you start with the second? I mean, was it was the bottom the most difficult part? You know, constructing the bottom and then get, getting getting into the uh, top part. It was hard to um to get enough. I I had enough plates, but I had to make it work because I didn't have the right size measurements for some of the, like the right stud length, for some of the parts mm -hmm. I had to know. There's a lot of interior structure in just that, um, that, that part that goes on top of the first floor. And then there's like the, the gap underneath. And then it goes up. There's a lot of structure in there to make that as strong as it could be. Um, and I started with the, the build on the left, the far left on the second floor with the advertisement. Um, so that was pretty simple. And then the lobster kicked in and then I worked my way right. I don't, I don't know why I did that, but it, it worked. So I went with it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It was, it was fun. Yeah. So, um, you uh, you, you make the sushi bar. Was that it? Was that difficult? Um, making 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 the sushi bar up, up top here, the rooftop rooftop sushi bar. I didn't even I didn't add it. I was just like, nah, it's too too much of a, a little detail that I, I don't have the pieces for. It. I was like, I'll just bypass that. That's that's okay. I mean, it's something I can I can leave out. Um, the most challenging part of the roof was that middle structure. 
because mm -hmm. I had to add the little tiny bit of sand grain I had that also make it look like it was most of the area, which it worked. Mm -hmm. I, put, I put the white around and the sand grain stands out. So that, that worked. I was happy with it. Swim with it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so overall, overall, what was the most challenging part on this build from top to bottom? What was, what was the, what was the one piece? And you know, that one piece where you, you work it out, doesn't quite look the way you're trying it. And so you have to undo it to redo it. That type of, uh, uh, piece is what I'm talking about. What was the, the most difficult part in, in the build? Uh, I think, it was, I, I think it was definitely the, um, the the actual the first part the whole section at the bottom where there's the, the walkway and there's the water that that i pulled apart a few times it was on the screens i had on my old channel but they're gone but i mean it was on mm -hmm. there and i had um benzy you know benzy from the ad piece room um yes yes he, he was in the screens with me helping me out but he'll tell you that we went through it a few times because I just couldn't get it right, but it finally worked. Um, it also connects, it also connects to other modulars, so mm -hmm. I'm happy to be able to incorporate that like the actual set had. So yeah, so you're not, you're you're not going to get rid of this thing, being it it can connect to other modulars. You, you you're not going to you know um, take it apart, are you? you know what I mean, you're going to put it in in your city, right? Ah, I don't know. We'll see. I'll, I'll hold out. Um, I should have, uh, I should have, uh, the, I should have the actual set in a couple of months when it, whenever it comes out stores, that's when I'll have it. But, um, okay. But yeah, I, I look to, I'm probably going to keep it together for at least another year, I would say. And I'll, okay. see, where, I'll see where I go from there. Um, you got to keep it. You got to keep it. It's like, have you ever seen, um, have you ever seen that, that Eddie Murphy movie, uh, called coming to America? Have you ever seen that yeah. movie? Yes. And you see where, where the uh, the father in law had the, the restaurant called McDowell's. Yeah, McDowell's. That, that's like that. Yeah, that's McDowell's. It was a McDonald's kind of, kind of competition. But well, that's that's what I'm saying about this piece here. This is like the McDowell's of the Ninjago City. You got you got to keep it, man. You don't 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 destroy it. Oh yeah, that was that was a good movie when he had the um <laughs> menu when he was looking for yeah. the menu. The Mac. Yeah, they had the arches. He had the golden arcs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a good movie. Very funny movie. Yeah, yeah. See, I can relate to McDowell's way. I copied a lot myself. So. <laughs> oh, hey, man. Uh, so, uh, my guest tonight at nine will be uh, the one and only Cool Kid Bricks. Uh, so, you want to tune, you folks want to tune in for that. Um, he's got quite a Lego selection and uh, quite a few stories to tell. Um, and he's uh, uh, a member of the DMV Bros. So he's got the hometown court going on here. Um, so you definitely want to check in to see that. Um, let's see here. Let me stop on present. All right. And we're on you. So you are now uh, 19 years old. Um, mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, what would you tell, what would you tell the 10 year old RRB? Uh, don't let Lego run your life like it has. <laughs> what? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Why would you yeah. tell him this? It's not, it, it really, um, I think my addiction is, it's more than like for most a folders building, mine is everything. I need to know everything. And um, it really consumed a lot of my time when I was in my teens. It was like, oh, when something came out, I have to research it straight away and find out more about it or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. So like, I can go for months without building, but I need to know facts. I don't know. It's just, um, that's what I would tell myself. Yeah. That's what I would tell myself. We, we, we're here now. So you got to roll with it. That's what I got to do. Okay. Okay. That's good. That's good. All right. Um, yeah. 
so um what are the um what are the plans for the innovative Lego uh, builders yourself? What are the, the future plans within in the next year? So what's, what's your next big build? Because it's always about the next project. I want to I want to do uh, eventually within the next year I'll do a big layout for a uh, proper layout where I'm actually taking time to build it, not just taking it to a show and it's just being put together there on mm -hmm. my own layout. Um, probably more in a jungle or something. That's what I'd like to do. In a jungle setting, I'll probably use some of the jungle sets from the city wave this year. Um, mm -hmm. That's that's what I want to do. That's that's the plan for the next the next big show, which is, which is in Newcastle next year. That's the biggest show my love does. Um, so I have to be ready for that. Okay. All right. Any last words, man? Yeah. Thanks for having me on. It was fun. I enjoyed it. Um, I'll be watching, actually, what time will the CKBs be on for me? Uh, it'll probably be the reverse time. Um, it'll probably be uh, morning for you and the night for us. Yeah, so it'll be 8 o'clock in the morning. We'll see. Oh, I should be able to watch some of it. But, um, okay. yeah, right. thanks for having me on. It was, it was good. I had fun talking about my past with Lego oh. and everything. Oh, it was it was a pleasure, man. I, you know, you're you're a phenomenon. You know, uh, I, you know, you're a young guy doing it well, man. You, you know, you're you're big in your Lego community. Um, so it's it's a pleasure to have you on. All right, well, all right, folks. That concludes this here show this morning. Uh, like I said, tune in tonight at nine. Uh, for CKB, CKB, you better get ready because the questions are going to get a lot harder. All right, folks. We'll see you next time.